Hey, welcome back to my channel. This video pretty much wrote itself thanks to the contribution from Hooray for Rob from the Discord in adding these instructions for LDAP generic setup to Authentics documentation page, which I'll be following for the most part, so shout outs to him. First, as always, log into your Authentic instance. Click on Admin Interface. Click on Directory, then Users. Click on Create. And for username, enter LDAP Service. And click Create. Oops, editing Kuptonian here, and I forgot to add this part which I needed later, so I'm inserting it here. Now click on the LDAP service user, click on set password, enter your preferred password, and click update password. Next click on groups, and click create. For name, enter LDAP search and click create. Now click LDAP search we just created. Click on users. Click add existing user. Click the plus sign to list all users. Click the box next to LDAP service to select it, and click Add. And click Add one more time. Now we have created our bind user and group. Time to create the LDAP flow. Click on Flows and Stages. Click on Stages. Click Create. And choose Identification Stage. Then click Next. For name, name it something that makes sense, like LDAP Identification Stage. Be sure to select username and email in the User Fields section. You shouldn't have to change any other settings here. And click Finish. Let's make the next stage by clicking Create. Select Password Stage and click Next. Name it something like LDAP Authentication Password. Be sure all the backends are selected. No need to change anything else. And click Finish. Click Create one more time. Choose User Login Stage, and click Next. Name it LDAP Authentication Login. Then click Finish. Now that the stages are done, time to create the flow. Click on Flows. Click Create. Name it LDAP Authentication Flow. I'll enter the same for the title. For designation, choose Authentication. If you use the password manager and want to be sure it works, expand Behavior Settings and turn on Compatibility Mode. Also, expand Appearance Settings and choose a background if you'd like to set a custom background. and click Create. Next, click on the flow you just created, or in my case it isn't listed for whatever reason, so I'll search for it, and click on it. Then click on Stage Bindings. Click on Bind Existing Stage. For Stage, select the LDAP Identification Stage created earlier.
give it an order of 10, and click Create. Click Bind Existing Stage again. This time for Stage, choose LDAP Authentication Login. Give it an order of 30. We normally would enter 20, but we'll reserve that for the password stage if we later decide we rather have the password on the second page instead of all on the first page when logging in. And click Create. Now click Edit Stage for our LDAP identification stage. And under Password Stage, choose LDAP Authentication Password. And click Update. This will have the username slash email and password entry on the same page. Now time to create the LDAP provider, LDAP application, and LDAP outpost. Click on applications, and on providers. Click create, choose LDAP provider, and click next. Name it LDAP. For bind flow, choose LDAP authentication flow. For search group, choose the group LDAP search created in the beginning. We don't need to change any other settings here. And click finish. If it gives you an error stating this field is required, just reselect LDAP authentication flow. And click finish one more time. Not sure why it doesn't register the first time. You'll see a yellow exclamation warning stating provider not assigned to any application. And this is fine because it hasn't been created yet. Next, click on Applications. Then click Create. Enter LDAP for the name. The slug autofills with the same. For provider, select LDAP. No other settings should need to be changed here. And click Create. Next, click on Outposts. Then on Create. Name it LDAP. For type, choose LDAP. Be sure to select LDAP in the Application section. Then click on Create. Everything should now be done and ready to test. Now jump back to the documentation and at the very end we'll see a few commands to run on the host that Authentic is running on. If you're working directly on the host then open up your terminal or if you're like me, SSH into a terminal session to the host. I'm running Ubuntu server so I made sure to first run sudo apt update dash y off screen earlier to update all my repositories. Next I will copy the first line since again I'm using Ubuntu which is Debian based and paste that command into my terminal session and hit enter to download and let it install. Now I'll clear my terminal by typing clear. And for whatever reason the next set of commands don't work out for me. So I will paste this instead. The last dash uppercase W will prompt for the password for our bind user LDAP service. This full command will be in the description below. So just enter the password and hit enter. Then we get our results. If we click on events and logs, we will see the LDAP service login entry, which matches the test result per the documentation. Please subscribe and if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button to get it into the algorithm as a suggestion to others that may be interested. As always, thanks for watching.